Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you a scenario where let's say you want a table which is not having a specific which is not having the row that is appearing in another table. For example, if you see these, this is let's say our entire project list and these are the project list which is abandoned, right? So we don't want these basically list or these names to be appeared in the final list or in the final table, right? Because you have both uh, mall interior, mall, so it looks like mall construction is completed or abandoned. So you just want the mall interior to be there. P02 both the values should come but for P03 value should not come. P04 all the values come. P05 should not come because it is abandoned, right? So if this is the scenario you are trying to achieve then I'll show you how you can do that. With that just a quick information about this Google Sheet. So this Google Sheet is something which I maintain and uh, this is where all of my videos are present and I, what I do is I put the link in column B so that you can come over here search any of my video very easily all the dashboards and various different topics which I have put it on Power BI and uh, jump on to that video tutorial over here using the link in column B. Also I have some exercises using the Workout Wednesday website so you can check out that as well. With that let's get back to Power BI. Okay. So coming back to the scenario, we want a final list where these three are not appearing because they are abandoned in this scenario, but you may have another scenario so you can implement that as well. But it is very, very straightforward. It's just that you need to know what, what basically you need and the, uh, and the function name. Okay, so new table, because we are creating a new table, project not abandoned, if that's the right word, yeah, okay. So that are still going on. Alternate way we can say that. And I will going to use a function which is accept. Generally, we are not aware of this function. So what it does is it gives the left table and the right table. What it says then it returns the rows of left side table. That means the first table and uh, returns the rows of the left side table which do not appear. That's the keyword which do not appear in right side table. Right, so very very straightforward. A, a straight away function is there. You just have to apply supply the name. So first is our sheet one where all the project list is present. Second is our abandoned list, and uh, then we can hit enter. That's all. What did you need to do? And what you have is finally a list where uh, P zero one only the mall interior is there because you remember the first one is uh, abandoned or completed. Uh, P zero two both the rows are there. P zero four all the rows are. There. With that, you can come and the project not abandoned, you can create whatever analysis you like. I will just create a simple table where we can say project number, pro uh, project name and all. So now P01 mall construction is here. So mall construction is removed. What you only have is the mall interior over here. P02 is not here. So both the rows are returned, both P02. P03 is there. So that's why it is not returned. P05 is there, that's why it is not written. And P04, both the rows are here. So that's very straightforward and easy way that you can go ahead and implement this. Uh, with the help of the this function, you can go ahead and implement this as a part of your data and create new table and create analysis. So with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the new video with the new topic.